I have owned these Pokemon cards for over 20 years, and I just sold them all for Let's talk about Pokemon cards today. So between me and Sam, we have thousands of these cards, but honestly, they've done nothing but sit on a shelf and collect dust for the last 15 years. But for whatever reason, Pokemon cards have skyrocketed in value in the last year or so. So today I'm gonna create an eBay account. I'm gonna put all of my cards up for sale and see how much money I can make. <laughs> I find it funny how Sam's binder has like stickers on the outside, they're color coordinated, there's even post-it notes, and then you look at my binder, and it's literally falling apart. So all of the cards are sorted, I took pictures of them, and I put them in this protective case. They're ready to sell on eBay, but first things first, I have to educate myself. I know some Pokemon cards are worth thousands of dollars and others are probably worth less than this used pack of gum. Mmm, minty. So here is the world's fastest Pokemon card lesson. In 1996, Pokemon released their first edition Pokemon cards. You can tell it's a first edition Pokemon card by looking right here. These are the most valuable Pokemon cards. If you're not lucky enough to have a first edition, you might be lucky enough to have a Shadowless card. If you look at most Pokemon cards, they have a Shadow right here, but the Shadowless do not have that, and they're the second most valuable card. Finally, the most common Pokemon cards are not first edition, and they do have the Shadow. These are worth the least. And of course, all of my cards are the least valuable ones, but that's okay. Some of them still go for a lot of money. Guys, the cards have been sorted. The knowledge has been obtained. It's finally time to sell these cards. Oh, jeez, I forgot. So we're going to the beach tonight for a memorial. Then tomorrow we're looking at some wedding venues. We've got a ton of stuff planned this weekend. So I'm not going to be able to sell the cards until Sunday. But don't worry, you guys are coming with me this whole weekend. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished dinner. I realized that I had this delicious dinner and didn't take a single video of it, but that's okay. Earlier in the vlog, I mentioned that I'm going to the shore. My aunt passed away of cancer this time last year, so we're having a memorial for her. All right, so we woke up Saturday morning. I love being down the beach, even though it is October. It's a little too cold to go in the water, but Sam, you want to go in? Oh, no. I'm jumping in the water. So we're on our way home from the beach. We had a really nice time actually, but my mom just got one of those cars that has the self-driving feature. So I'm literally driving this car with no hands. It's actually really awesome. So in last week's vlog, I mentioned that Sam and I are redoing our entire kitchen. Well, today is the official TFG weekly kitchen update. That's the weekly kitchen update. We're back in the car again on our way to another wedding venue. If you guys haven't heard, Sam and I are getting married and every single weekend we go to a new wedding venue to see which one we wanna pick. Hopefully this is the one. All right, guys, so we just finished up our tour. We absolutely loved it. It's called Normandy Farms. I think this might be where we get married. I would take out my drone and show you guys an aerial view, 
but I got a tennis match to go to. I just finished up tennis. We had a really long match, but we actually won. I am so exhausted, so I think I'm gonna worry about selling the Pokemon cards tomorrow. All right, it's Monday morning. I am rested, ready to go. I got my Cheerios. Let's post these Pokemon cards on eBay. Okay, I had no idea how long it was gonna take to post these things on eBay. I've literally been working on this for like, three and a half hours, but I have most of the valuable cards up there. But I want to show you guys something really quickly. So I posted a Charizard card for like $95 and look at this. Day one. Guys, I literally posted that like five minutes ago. I've already made $105. I've kind of converted this entire room into a Pokemon room. So I got to clean things up so I can get back to work. You're younger and smarter. So I just woke up on Tuesday morning and we have a problem guys. So I got an email from eBay last night saying that my account has been suspended. Let me read the email for you guys. Hello VL5875. That's just the account name they gave me. We have reviewed the activity we've seen connected to your account. As a result, your account has been suspended because we believe the activity presents a risk to our eBay community. However, there is no appeal for this decision. So my account got suspended for suspicious activity, but they're not telling me what I did wrong and there's no appeal process. Guys, I'm just trying to sell Pokemon cards. If I did anything wrong, I don't even know what I did. So you don't think I actually have the Pokemon cards? You think they were fake? I mean, I literally have them in my hand right now. Like I'm looking at Charizard. Two hours later. So I've been talking to eBay for over two hours now, but they finally reinstated my account. They said it was a complete accident. But of course, all of my listings were deleted, so I have to take new pictures, I have to post them back on eBay. Just sold and shipped my first two Pokemon cards. I also got a ton of junk mail for the election. Biden, Trump, Biden, Trump. The sunrise is so much later now than it was in the summer. Makes getting those morning time lapses so much easier to get. Anyway, we got about 20 minutes left on the Pokemon card auction. I don't know how I'm going to show you an eBay auction through a vlog, but I'll try to figure it out. Wow, okay, so eBay auctions when you're the seller are awesome. I don't know if it was fun for you guys to watch a computer screen, but for me, it was amazing. Okay, so I gotta pack up all these cards to ship them out, and then we're gonna go over how much money I made total. Ah, oh, my Charizard card. Guys, I have loved this card for so many years. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> So all of the cards are packed and ready to ship out. I'm gonna read every single card I've sold and then tell you how much I've made in total. Uh, I had to write it down because I have a terrible memory. Machamp, $36. Venusaur, $70. Charizard, $90. One eternity later. And the biggest sale of the entire video was my Dark Blastoise first edition holographic for $237.50. And the total, I probably should have calculated that beforehand. I have owned these Pokemon cards for over 20 years, and I just sold them all for $1,023.50. Well, I know how I'm gonna pay for the kitchen now. The woman asked me, what kind of items do you intend on selling, and where do you intend on getting these items? And my answer was, I'm trying to sell my old Pokemon cards and I got them from my closet. 